What's up guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com here. I just picked up a few books. I'm gonna look at them in Scout IQ. I'm gonna show you why I bought them, what the process looks like, what data points am I looking for to ultimately qualify a purchase. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This is the first book. I don't have my Bluetooth scanner on me, so we're just going to be using the camera feature. All right, $16.76 profit, 1.1 million rank. There is no e-score, uh, but that's okay. We can actually look in the Keepa. So you can see there's only 14 used offers on here, which is pretty awesome. The lowest overall is $16.31, and FBA right now is coming in at $29.99, and they hold the buy box. So because there is no e-score, let's click through right here on Keepa to get a better view of how often this book sells. All right, so not a lot of sales happening within the last three months. There are a handful. You can see these dips in the green line indicates a sell. So this book does sell. It doesn't sell very often. Maybe I'd say once or twice a month. So let's go back and look at the data a little bit more. Let's see if there's any other Amazon Prime sellers. And there's not. There's just that one person selling it for $29.99. So you could go ahead and send this in and price it at the same price, $29.99. Wait for that next sale. You could price it even lower, say $25. But since this book really isn't selling that often, you might want to go ahead and just match the lowest overall, which is $16.31. You still come back with a $5 profit. I would actually go ahead and maybe sell it for around the $20 mark as well. So you could come in at $8.50 profit. So there's a lot of room here to play in. There is profit in this book. It does sell. The thing you're going to have to concentrate on here is where do you want to price it to get the most profit and that next sale. All right, let's check out the next book. All right, $11.89 profit, 500,000 rank, which is good. 29 e-score, not bad. Lowest overall is $8.96. FBA is coming in hot at $24. So here's what we know about this book. The rank is good. The e-score is decent. It sells about five times a month, if not more. So there is demand for this book, so you can very well get that $24.43 price. Brand new is coming in at $63.82, so $24 for this book is not a bad deal. You do have a handful of offers on this side, but there is enough demand there to justify this price. Let's actually look at the prime offers and see what's going on there. So 24 is Amazon Warehouse. The next one is 29. You could potentially price this at 29 and get a few extra dollars out of it. Let's look at another one. All right, $13 profit on this, 1.7 million rank. Again, no e-score, that's okay, we'll check Keepa. Lowest overall, 16.35, FBA is $25. There's only six used offers on that book, which is great. You've probably got all these merchant fulfilled offers at 16, and then you have this one FBA at 25. So all these numbers really make a lot of sense, but let's look at Keepa to make sure it's actually selling. We zoom in a little closer you can see over the last three months it's had at least one two three four five sales in the last three months not a lot of sales but it's decent and there's not a lot of competition on this book let's look at the prime offers and see what's going on there only one offer and it's good old jensen books at 2561 so you could try and compete with jensen books but chances are they're probably just going to keep dropping the price and dropping the price uh, so it's up to you what you want to do here you could price at $16.35, potentially get the next sale, and you're going to make $5 profit. Or you can stay with the $25.61 and wait for Jensen to sell first, which I guarantee you they will because they'll always undercut you no matter what. All right, the last book we're going to look at right here. $27 in profit, 2.4 million rank, 4 e-score. This book has sold at least four times in the last six months. 21 used, so not a lot of competition. There is no FBA offer here in the use, and there is no FBA offer here in the new section. And then you can see the offers on this side go up considerably, up to $92 is the, the highest. So if there is a used FBA offer, it's going to be higher than 92 bucks, which I doubt there's even an offer on this book. Let's click through and look at the Amazon offers. Yeah, just as I suspected, there is no prime offer at all on this book. If you look at this and just took it at face value, you're going to think this is awesome. I'm going to buy this book. 
Uh, and once you dig a little deeper into the Keepa history, you can see that the price recently just increased. And quite possibly, all these guys are kind of chasing each other with repricers. This is one of those books where you have to decide whether it's worth the risk for you. For me, it is. I'll send it in, maybe price it around that $59 mark and see if I can get that next sell. If it doesn't sell in the next couple of months, I'll go back, reevaluate the pricing, look at the market again. Has it moved? Has the pricing overall went down? Or is it still holding steady around that $40 mark? And if it is still around that $40 mark, I'll go ahead and just match it. So those are just a few ways that I qualify a book for purchase. You want to see profit here, of course, but that doesn't always tell the whole story. Rank, again, doesn't always tell the whole story. And there's not always an e-score here for you to look at. So you need to be able to analyze the data a little bit more. Now, I definitely don't go through all these steps when I'm out there trying to source books. I want to hit as many stops as I can and scan as many books as I can to pull out as much profit as I can. So I don't always go through all these steps. But I do take the time before I check out, before I purchase the books that I have selected to look at the screen and analyze that data. Definitely when you start getting into these higher ranks and these lower e-scores, you need to dig in more to that data. If you don't have Scout IQ, you can get that 14 day trial with the link in the description. I would appreciate that, guys. Anybody who uses my link below, let me know. I'm going to hook you up with some free book training. Shoot me an email at hi at everydayfba.com and let me know that you purchased it. Forward me over the receipt from Scout IQ and I'm going to hook you up with some free book training. So there you go. Bonus offer for anyone that uses my Scout IQ link. I'm going to hook you up. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.